So today, we're going to just briefly touch on a few things. For those that, that uh, are here for the first time or those that are watching for the first time, this is the year to manifest. This is what our, uh, when we, we kind of prepare for this year going into 2019, we kind of, yes, you guys are released. We kind of uh, pray and ask God, you know, what direction? What are you saying? What are you saying to your people? What is it that you want to say? How many know that in this, well, let, let's, I'm not even going to go into any assumption. How many, how many, first of all, how many love the Lord? How many know that this really is a true God? How many know that he is the creator of life? Okay, all right, I'm in the right place. And so, therefore, if he is the, the God of everything, that means that you have access to what? everything and so when I was praying for this year he said this is the year to manifest 2019 was the year to manifest and I'm like okay God that's cool what does that mean no no he said you didn't really get that you didn't really you just you just heard what I said but but you really didn't hear in the spirit what I said he said this is your year or the year to manifest so I was like, well, okay, what does that mean? And we know our working definition for manifest is what? Thank you. I got one good student here that can remember. To make evidence when something is manifested, that means it is made evidence through some demonstration or display. Other than that, it's just a figment of your imagination. All right? So he said... But I'm going to give you a little better than that. I'm going to tell you, and I want you to tell my people, that they sh shall manifest. <laughs> so remember, you said you believe in God, and God is the creator of all things, and, and he has access to all things, and therefore we have access. But if the if the... The, the one that is in charge of everything says to you that you shall manifest. Shall meaning, we talked about that before. Shall means absolute without a doubt. No matter what, it's going to happen. Live or die, sink or swim, the earth can fall. The, the sky can do whatever. It can flip around. But when it's all said and done with, whatever it is that's supposed to be manifest, it will manifest. And that there is absolutely nothing that can hinder it. But there was a contingency. <laughs> Hope. Oh. It's always, uh, you got to read between the lines. There's nothing that's really absolutely free. Your salvation is free access, but somebody had to pay the price. Oh, you, you see what I'm saying? But he said, you shall manifest if your expectations move into action. See, so, so here we have the God that you talked about, the creator of all things, the most powerful being, the one that exists, that pulled something out of nothing and made it be, creator of all things. And he said that this year you shall have, you shall manifest whatever it is that you have an expectation for. So the question is, what are you expecting? See, some of us heard that and, and right away we we like, oh. But did you start taking notes and start writing down? What is it that you will want to expect? Because if you didn't have it last year or the year before and you wanted something, now you can slide it in this year and use it as an expectation because God said you will, you shall have it if now that you have an expectation. So the question is, what are you expecting this year? You should already have a list. How many got a list? Well, you got a little bit of time. There's still a couple more days in a year. But I, I, I encourage you, you need to get you a list of everything that you want. Now, just don't be throwing up everything because here's the catalyst. Whatever it is that you're expecting, you got to have some action. 
you got to move that expectation into action. So he said, I'll do it. Whatever it is that you want me to do. But there's some things that you have to do. You got to take it. And you got to move it. And you got to get some strategy. And you got to get a, a, some action. So this is not no hocus pocus. Uh, uh, one of those uh, dream it, have it thing. No, 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 no. It's not one of those things. It, it's just letting you know that God said, I'll do my part if you do your part. Amen. So today we've been talking about, or this year we've been talking about that. So today we want to quickly talk about God's dominion is the order. God's dominion today. Today when you, today is March the 10th, 2019. And when you look at the numbers of, of, of how that it culminates together, it really is saying that, that God's dominion is the order. I don't have time to break it down, but trust me when I tell you. Today, God is saying that, that his dominion is the order. And so, therefore, we want to manifest your faith. That's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. Uh, no limit. There, there's absolutely two, two, two people or two scenarios where there's no limits. Number one, we know God is no limit. Right? Well, we're going to touch on just a little bit. You guys help me stay on this time because I need to be done in 15 minutes. We're just going to rush here real quick. But, but Luke, Luke 137, turn to Luke 137. Hey, I got my shirt on. It says that, for with God, nothing will be impossible. Bam. It says, for with God, nothing will be impossible. See, see, you don't realize that there's more to you. See, you've been trying to deal with life all by yourself. Or, uh, you, you think you got your brilliance. And I know you may be brilliant. I know you may have went to school. I may, you may have learned some things. But let me tell you this, that the only way that you can have no limits, you have to be with God. He said, for with God, all things are possible. That means there is no limit. No limit. Let's quickly go to Mark 9.23. I'm just trying to set you up. We are not going to be able to get all through this today, but you're going to have to, you're going to, have to go home, do some studying, and we're going to try to pick this back up a little bit. Uh, next week, Mark 9, 23, it says, Jesus said to him, who's speaking? He, Jesus said to him, if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Jesus said, if you can believe, well, let me ask you, can you believe? No, no, seriously, you said that too quick. You didn't give no thought to it because you don't even know what I asked you to believe. But the question is, can you believe? Oh, now you got a little delay reaction, huh? huh? You let me talk you out. The, it's simple. Can you believe or not believe? When Jesus is talking and Jesus is speaking and Jesus is asking the question, if you can believe, you don't have to debate on what it is that need to believe. Simply because Jesus is asking the question, your answer should automatically be, yes, Lord. Whatever it is, yes, 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 yes. Why? Because now I can move on the, the realm of the impossible. And make it possible. I have no limits when I'm with God. You, you, you see what he's saying? Okay, okay. Let's get Habakkuk 2.4. Somebody real quick. Did you get Habakkuk 2.4? I'm rushing, I'm rushing, I'm rushing. And it says this. In the NIV it says, See, the enemy is puffed up. His desires are not upright. But the righteous person will live by his faithfulness. Some verses just says it this way. The just shall live by. Oh, come on. 
So the question that I need to ask, are there any just folks in the house? <laughs> so if you're okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, Romans 117. Boy, this is going to be quick. Oh, Lord Jesus. It says this, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed. This is the King James Version. From faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. How many just folks we have in here? Okay, okay, you know I'm setting you up. You know I'm setting you up. Galatians 3 and 11. And it says this, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, oh, manifest, for the just shall what? <laughs> How many just folks we got in the house? Okay. All right. Hebrews 10, 38. It reads, now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. How many just folks we have in here? So the word declare we're talking about, remember we're talking about uh, God's order, God's dominion is the order. And we want to manifest our faith and God's trying to build up our faith and to believe, but you have to understand uh, what faith is. And so here the Bible declares, has given us pure evidence, at least in four scriptures, that the just shall live by what? Faith. And you told me you are just. So that means that you must live by faith. If you're just, it's not an option. You can't pick and choose today, I'm a function in faith. You can't pick and choose when you want something or you exhausted all of your energy, all of your resource. Now, all of a sudden, you want to function in faith by default because you have nothing else. So you got to know. It said the fact that if you are just, there is no option. You must live by faith. Period. So you breathe through faith. You operate in faith. You move by faith. You execute by faith. You do everything by faith, knowing because you are connected with God, all things are what? Absolutely possible. So there is no limit. So I don't know what you've been listening to. I don't know who's been telling you anything. You should not even have doubt in your mind about absolutely nothing. Why? Because I'm just. And I live by faith. Oh. So the just, you are just. Now, 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 let's look at faith. Oh, I'm not going to get done here. But we're just going to tease you just a little bit. You know the scripture. It's, it's like the, 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 the staple of faith, Hebrews 11 and 1. See, everybody got it. They got it. But let me show you something. Now faith is. Now faith is. Or faith is now. Faith is always in the now. But how many of us will live our life when we say, well, I'm believing for, I'm going to have... That's not now faith, that's future. But faith doesn't operate in the future. Oh, we got some sacred cows we stepping on. Faith does not function in the future. So you're gonna have and, and, and will have doesn't move heaven. The 
it's all an illusion. Oh, I need three brothers. Come up here right here. Three brothers come. I was just going to do an illustration. I got to go. I got, I got about 10 minutes. Three brothers. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay. So faith future, faith now, past. Or we say past, present, future. And this is how we function in life. We think about the past. And we allow our past to hinder things that's happening in our present. We look to the future, uh, uh, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. And we can look to the future for hope and all that other stuff. But, but, but the, it's an illusion. There is no future. There is no future. And you can't do anything about the past. Now, if you were, uh, uh, you know, Flash... Or maybe Captain Marvel, you can do some, some dimensional shifting, changing, reversing. I know you guys don't know nothing about that. Oh, no. Oh, don't, don't have me. Look, Jesus walked through a wall, through a door. All that. Some folks, uh, uh, who was it that was translated? See, don't tell me it can't happen. See, see, Marvels and them folks, they, they, just, they, they just showing you what really how you should be functioning anyway. But let me, go back to the, let me go back to my illustration. So faith is not in the past and faith is not in the future. Faith is now. So when the future comes, the future just becomes now. Future's always, now is now. The moment that you spoke, right now, this second right now, is now and is gone. Whatever you to do in this second right now is gone, is over, is too late. There is no more. There's no do-over. Life is in now. Your life is operating in the now. There's no do-over. Thank you, fellas. Now, I know some folks, they say they died and this and came back and all that, you know, it, 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 that's cool. But the reality is, the only thing that matters is right now. And because you are just, that means that you should be functioning in the now, which is through faith. Do I, st I still have with you? So now triumphs going to do, going to have. Now will always trump going to have. Or oh, I'm going to be. I'm going to have. The now will always trump that. So it's not like I'm going to be a millionaire. Your language should be, I am right now. I am a millionaire. And because I'm a millionaire, everything that I need in my resources will come to me. Oh, you got to change the way you think. See, it's all hinge. Oh, I wish I had time. I don't have time. Come on, McFarland, you got to go. So God is in the now. So if you want to catch God, if you want to contact God, you got to contact him in the now. Hello, God. You can't contact him in the past. You can't contact him in the future because he functions in the now, even though he is everywhere any given time. If you go into hell, he's down there. If you go to the highest part, he's there. You can't get away from I understand that he's in the past because to him, it's past, present, future is linear. It's all the same to him. He's not even even in time. Oh, we don't have time to get into all that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But the point of the matter, if you want to contact God, you got to contact him in now. So it goes on. It says faith is the substance of things. Well, let's not get there yet. Let's just deal with the thing. Faith is. What is faith? Okay, let me see if I, I wrote down, because I, I, you know me, I like to try to 
go a little deeper on some things here, but let me see if I wrote it down because I left some things here. Okay. So faith is the substance. So what is the definition? Our working definition of substance, let me get that for you, is the essence, the essential nature the ultimate reality that underlines all outward manifestations and change. I'll say it again so you can write it down or get it to memory. Our working definition for substance is the, es the essential nature, ultimate reality that underlines all outward manifestations and change. So it says faith is the substance. Faith is the essential nature. Faith uh, uh, is, is, is that which is the manifestation of all outward things. Faith is the substance of things. So faith is the substance of money things. Trouble things. Children things. Whatever a thing is, faith is that the substance of all things. Did you get that? I, I know you probably had it in some kind of box. But faith is the substratum. It is the basic. It is the foundation of everything. The curtains, the lights, the floor, the chairs, your shirt, you. You are made up of faith. Oh, come on. Okay. You know, you, oh, Lord Jesus, I got to go, I got to go. Don't be mad, don't make, we're not going to get through this. But let's turn to one, uh, John 1, 1 and 1 real quick. Then I'm going to throw some things, and then we're going to wrap this baby up, and then we're going to tear this thing down. We got, somebody give me a six-minute countdown. John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. All things were made by him. So here we have faith is the substance of things, all things. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and all that. But the bottom line is that all things were made by him. Genesis 1, once, you, know, you know, it says in the beginning, what God created and then it came where he started saying, and God said, let there be what? And light came. Light is a thing. Verse number six. God said. Read it. You don't have time. You don't have time to go in. But God said. Verse number nine, God said. Verse number 11, God said. Verse number 20, God said. Verse 24, God said. Verse 26, God said. Verse 31, God said, and God saw. So everything that God said, he saw. So if faith is the substance of things, all things, faith is the substance of things, and Jesus, the word, is the creator of all things, we have to look at what faith is, and faith really is the word being spoken that creates any and everything. So remember I said that God, creator of all things, you got it going on, that's your ace, boom, coom, right? So because you're connected up with him, you have access to that. And because you are just, you need to live by faith. And this is the reason why you live by faith. Because if you live by faith, then everything, all things, everything that has a substance is subjected to faith. Yeah. 
So when you're having an issue, all you got to do, that's the thing. So therefore, it has, it's been birthed through the word, and it has the capacity to be subjected to faith. And because I am just, I have access. All I have to do is what he did, and he spoke the word. So here's the secret. And I, I don't want to offend anybody, and I'm closing on this. Many of you guys have been praying for things. Oh, there we go. You've been hoping for things. And so you've been praying maybe in the future this, 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 this. But here's the thing. You, oh, shit. Lord, help us. Lord, give us a building. Oh, you recognize that one, right? Father, thank you for the whole shop. Uh, cold knees, meet me outside. You know, cold knees, cold knees. How about running, riding in a Hyundai? Yeah, you know how we do, right? Speaking in tongue. But that doesn't move faith. This is how you move faith. You find the word. So if there's something that you feel that God is saying to you, if there's something like this building that we've been saying we need to find a building, we need to go beyond just saying we need to find a building. We need to get a word from God. Because when we get his word and decree his word, his word will create anything and to the degree that that's what he spoke, he saw. Oh, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Welcome to Legacy Life Church. So we're going we're gonna to close it up right there because we, we have to go. But here's, here's the kicker. Each and every one of you all have the power, the access power to walk in a unlimited life full of potential possibilities that can become possible if you dare to believe. But in your believing, you know, I told you this before, you got to be careful because every belief comes with its own lie. B-E-L-I-E-F. Belief, L-I-E right in the middle. Every belief comes with its own lie. So you have to be functioning. You can't have step being just and not just. You can't have step that you're going to listen and not listen. You got to be all the way in. Regardless. Now I hear the scripture said that the just live by faith. But we don't walk by our sight. We walk by our faith. You need to close your eyes and quit allowing the world and the things around you and your circumstances dictate whether or not you're going to function in your full capacity, unlimited, full of potential power. It's yours. It's available. Why? Because you are his and you are a thing and he made you. And that you are just and you function in faith and you believe all things, hopeth all things. Shokoroba. <sighs> Come on, stand to your feet. Ah, shatata. Romba. God is here in this place. So your homework is, get your expectation list. What are you willing to die for? See, just don't throw anything up there because whatever you put up there is going to cost you something. 
And you're going to have to come up with some strategy, heavenly strategies. And you're going to have to get out of these walls. You're going to have to get off, off of your, uh, <clears throat> your glory keister and you're going to have to do something. And whatever you have to do, you're going to have to function in faith. You're not going to be able to just half step. But I promise you, if you believe, all things are possible. Which brings us back to you shall manifest. You shall bring it to evident through demonstration if that what you expect moves into action. Father, we just thank you. We give you honor. We glorify you. Father, we speak over your people and those that are watching. We decree and declare, Lord God, that their ears are open. Father God, we do a spiritual cleansing in their ears, Lord God, that their ear can hear what the Spirit is saying to them. For I've heard your cry. I've heard your prayers. I've watched you even in the night season. Even while I had my angels watching over you. I am your God. Call on me and watch and see. Even now, God is speaking to someone, downloading strategies, bringing things to mind that he's been trying to get your attention on. I just want to encourage you. That right now, this is this this ground right now is saturated. So you don't have to come to the front, but by act of faith, I just want you to step in the aisle. And as you step in the aisle, what you're doing is stepping in faith. Stepping into the substance of things that's going to bring to manifestation the things that God has promised you. Just step in the aisle. For eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard, neither has it entered into your heart. And none of those things, you can't even imagine, you can't even fathom what God is working out for you right now. <laughs> Now is the now. That's what I say. Now is the day of salvation. Now is the time. Now, now, now. Watch and see if I don't move. Watch and see if I don't open up a window. Watch and see if I don't kick down a door. Watch and see now, now. Step out now. Father, we decree and declare over your people. Ah, your anointed, your presence, and your glory. For those that are watching, we want to encourage you. Just drop us a line. You can go to Facebook, Legacy Life Church, or you can drop me an email, Tyrone at LegacyLife.org. Let us know what we can pray for you for. But God is doing some shifting and he's doing some moving. Matter of fact, don't even look down because you're not even on the same level. When you first came in, you're not even on the same level. And things is going to come at you. And the air may get a little thinner and choke you out and try to because you're in a higher altitude. But trust the process. Trust the process. God says, they said it this way. He that has begun a good work in you, he is faithful to complete it. God's dominion is the order. And he 
told us that we are to have dominion over this land, over this place, over this kingdom. So how many are going to take him at his word? See, that means no more bowing down to lesser than, lower than ideas. No more bowing down and, 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 and giving in to, be, uh, to lower level thinking. Somebody come at you with some, low, reject, I reject that. that. That is not what my God said. I am the possible. I am possible. You need to go and get you one of these shirts from Joy Design This. God designed through Joy who sees all things. I see, I see. It's going to help for the building fund. It's an inside joke. Because when you believe it, I'm telling you, it's a whole different puppy. You're not so easily receiving mess and junk from folks and all this sad. No, 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 no. You come in my space. I am the king of my domain. And when you walk in my space, you got to walk by my rules. And my rules are... Bam, bam, bam. I believe. I am just. I have faith. All things are possible. I, I, I call those things that are not as though they are. I take from the uh, invisible realm and I manifest it in the natural realm. It shall be what I say it shall be because God dwells on the inside because I'm a God thing. Amen. 